Whenever we're out with friends, people look at my little girl and then back at me and say, she has her father's eyes. I'm pretty sure they've never met him. You see, when I first met my daughter's father, he slept as we spoke. His eyes were parched pinpoint pupils, shock red tributaries on tempered glass, every blink seemed a burden. The second time I met my daughter's father, he had been sober for just over two weeks. His eyes no longer dangled in darkness, now they rested on celluloid circles while his eyelids made a motion picture. I had never known him to be much with words, just a costume of skin draped aimlessly over jagged bone and ground teeth. His eyes always did the talking. The third time I met my daughter's father, he had just delivered my little girl on a bathroom floor. He couldn't look me in the eyes, couldn't form the words to explain how he, with lungs of chalk, had cleared her airways, how he'd been walking on the ceiling, came crashing down for her, how he tuned out six different voices and singled out the dispatcher, how he dialed 911. He didn't remember picking up the phone. I don't know what my little girl saw the first time she ever opened her eyes. I'd like to imagine it was the blue-green mosaics of bathroom tile or even a cocktail of ambulance lights and umbilical cord. It would have been great if it was me. But since it wasn't me, all I can hope is that if she stared into empty eyes that she didn't feel alone. The fourth time I met my daughter's father, he was tar. Destructive distillation, he was malleable. A punctured tire, tired of life, he was going to take it. For the first time, I saw the world through his eyes. Through a camera lens, he held the injection site. I watched him inject a fatal dose and live. I'm so glad he did live. Wish he could see what I see in his eyes. Wish I could give him hope, teach his brain to forget pain, teach him to find sanity and sorrow. But how can someone find hope when their reflection is a charred spoon? I don't know how I'll ever convince this man that he's worth it, that he's transmutable. He only sees ignominious when I see igneous. He can use fire for more than just destruction. I hope my darling never has to see the world through her father's eyes, but I hope that she sees those eyes for what they are to me. They are the eyes of Ra and Osiris, destructive and protective. They were a source of new life for me. I hope there will be a day when she can look him in the eyes and see herself. I hope she'll see someone who loved and lived sometimes too hard. The last time I met my daughter's father, he had impersonated me for the second time. He'd used my credit card to put his family into a hotel instead of a homeless shelter. His hands were almost metamorphic. His language was the mouth of its, had a mouth of its own. His eyes were the deep blue of an almost horizon. He simply couldn't wait for the sunrise. He pleaded that I wouldn't file a police report. I told him I would give him everything if he'd only asked. He gave it all to me. Yeah.